this is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. Today, we are going to do um, a boat and a fish, fisherman in the lake. So it's a simple landscape. It's great for anybody who wants to try a landscape to start with. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you a finished piece. So the top area is the part of a lake reflection. And then the middle is the boat and the fisherman. And underneath is the <coughs> reflection from the boat. And then um, on the very bottom is part of the lake. So um, this painting that the main subject is the boat and the fisherman. And um, the supply we're using is very simple. Today we're going to use pea paper. We can also call mulberry paper. It has a little bit re water resistant on this subject. So it's easier to do the uh, intricate line of the boat and the fisherman. You can also use um, unsized paper if you have good way to control your moisture can get clear line. And then I'm only using two brushes. One is a small brush. Today I'm using the pre-happy dot. And then the second brush is a large um, combination brush. You can use our large flow or this one is a full lotus. The color, I'm using the companion set. I'm using the burnt sienna and the um, uh, Choco gray, the dark, the black on the corner. That's only the two color because I'm using the washes. So um, I'm just using indigo with yellow on a big dish. And this is our chip indigo and chunk yellow because I need quite a bit green. So the companion said the green wasn't enough. And then um, our bass bottle ink. So I'm going to pour the ink a little bit in the dish right now. So the green was pre-mixed. It's ch again chunk yellow with chip indigo. So I'm going to do a bigger boat. I'm going to do the boat and then fisherman twice so you can see uh, you can have a chance to see it twice on this uh, important subject. <clears throat> First, I'm using the, the burnt sienna in the companion set. So I um, cleaned it up a little bit. And make sure so this this one I'm going to do a little bit bigger um, than the whole composition so I'm going to do this twice so here is the hat And this is the back of the boatman, the fisherman. And then I got the front. And underneath, is his arm. And here is his body and then this is part of his leg a 
when I use the black and then a little bit um, ink to, to show that he's sitting on this. And then I'm using the burnt sienna to make a extension between the man and the boat. Then this is the back of the boat. So then I use the ink to accent a little bit. So this is the boat in the larger version. So now I'm going to do a um, smaller version quickly. So it will be part of our subject. I um, forgot the fishing pole here. So now I'm connecting the fishman with the boat. The dark part. Okay, that's it. 
add a little bit accenting. Okay, now we're going to do the fun part of the <clears throat> the lake reflection. So I'm loading my brush with green and tip with a little bit of ink and blend. So I'm doing so the upper part is a little bit darker. You can see the reflection is all very um, horizontally straight line. So when you look at the water, that all the water is pretty straight. And then we are going to do the the reflection on the boat. So make sure your reflection of the boat is straight. The boat has a little bit diagonally. So this is it. And I'm going to sign my name. I'm signing my name here. Ling Chi. And out here, I'm giving this subject a title. And then is Light when a company the fisherman with the boat. Happy painting, we'll see you next time.